Her very own pub hides in a corner of rural Buckinghamshire, not too far from Aylesbury. So for Barbara Windsor, Panto in her home region is an enticing prospect. She's currently touring the country in Joe Orton's loot, a part the author said she was meant to play. So there's not much time for pulling pints. In fact, we tracked her down during a rare lunchtime as landlady. From December, over the county border in Hertfordshire will be the base for three months of Saucy Panto. Very convenient for an actress who's always relished song and dance, but whose debut in a certain series of films led to just eight performances which guaranteed stardom. Training agent Daphne Honeybutt, sir. Number? 38 No, your number, not your vital thing of me, Jigs. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, sir. I forgot where I was for the moment. Actually, it's 4711. Ah, have you had any experience? Oh, yes, a little. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Barbara Windsor acknowledges that that image is inescapable, although the Stevenage Panto will demand true variety. Apart from the geographical convenience, she's glad to be here with an audience much wider than those carry-on sniggerers. When Stevenage came up, I said, oh, yes, please, because <laughs> I can get home every day. <laughs> and it is a great atmosphere here. The people are terrific here. They run the theatre very well. Do you find that, that people regard you as public property when they come mm, along? Yes. They expect well, a certain sort of Barbara Windsor, don't they? Yeah, I don't they? mind that. I don't mind that. If I don't want that, then I walk around with a hat down there and big glasses. Although they still recognise me. It's quite funny, actually. <laughs> There's something about you, you let, out, let off something that they say, oh, it's Barbara Windsor. But I like that because, I mean, I get caught up in a Catch-22 situation about the carry-ons because I think they were wonderful to do, but I think they've taken liberties the way they shove these videos out and they put the compilations out and we don't know about it and we don't get paid about it so you get a little bit angry but having said that the Joe public love that character and it is smashing to walk down the street it really is and if I'm not feeling too good or I'm feeling a bit down which is very very rare very rare I just go for a little walk and I just feel good because people go oh hello bar it's never Miss Windsor it's <laughs> and I know that I make people happy that they're happy to see me it's a bit theatrical all that stuff isn't it oh you know? well I'm not Miss Windsor am I God help us I am bar so to us she's bar to the Panto's befrocked director though she's bar the star she is an enormous star in this country she's very famous I've always said uh, if you're measuring a star you ask the first ten people in the street and you just say the name do you know them and if eight know the name without saying from and, and, and the pro product they're in, then you've got to start with Barbara or ten now. Um, how do I look? Oh, smashing, what? yeah, you look ever so nice. Good. Will you help me on with mine, please? Of course, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you better just put it in your handbag, Daphne. Barbara Windsor says she's been doing pantomime long before her break into carry-on fame. In fact, she's very frank about why actors sign up every Christmas. It's a time of year when there's no work. Oh, well, there's no films being made, we know that. But at one time, when there were films being made and lots more television programmes being made, you got to November and there was nothing until March, February, March. Everything is what we call in the can. So you always did pantomime because an actor can be two or three weeks out of work, even four weeks out of work, but to be three months out of work is a long time. You've got to pay the tax man. And that's why we do pantomime, for the guilt. <laughs> but with a Buckinghamshire pub and current tour, the tax man's hardly a threat. Windsor clearly likes to come here to relax between bouts of her current role as a menopausal nymphomaniac. But you have to shrug off elements of Catherine when you leave the stage door, don't you? What, the nymphomaniac bit, darling, and the menopausal? Yeah. Well, one out of two, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I need...